New York Rangers today have acquired Mika Sabianjad and a second round pick. Did I say that right? In 2018 from Ottawa in exchange for Derek Brassard and a seventh round pick in 2018. Can we just call him Mika? I think that would be a lot easier. Uh, listen, just want to give you my thoughts here on this trade. And uh, I've been seeing a lot of negativity in regards to this trade. Yeah, a lot of people saying there goes the line chemistry between Brass and Zook. There goes that chemistry. Let me get this straight. We trade our top goal scorer. Hang on to Glass, Stahl, and Girardi. A lot of people don't think that Mika's a bad player. But you're pissed that you traded their best player. Reigns of fans, a lot of people need to stop getting so attached to players. This is part of the business. And it's a great trade in my opinion. Brass is a great player, but he's capped out going to be 29 this season. Mika has equivalent point production with a higher ceiling as he's only 23. And we traded a 7th round pick for a 2nd round pick. This trade, in my opinion, is a no-brainer. It's a good deal. Listen. This guy, okay? This guy has the about equivalent, okay? Equivalent. Same point to He has more. This guy has more goals in 281 career games and is younger. Frees up cap space. Frees up cap space. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this trade. Okay? Confused as to why so many people are dumping on this trade. The draft pick upgrade is important. And this guy has been relatively effective for the Senators and has been developing fairly well. He's also very young, which means less cap space. Again, taking it up for virtually a similar production value, which it is. Also give the Rangers some breathing room for signing other players or extending contracts of others eventually. Broussard is a good dude. But it makes sense for the team moving forward. Moving forward. A lot of Ranger fans are complaining that they didn't solve the problems, you know, of Girardi and, and Stahl. Listen, a lot of the fans are saying that Girardi and Stahl make the defense look tired and old. Listen. But I argue that the problem for years has been inability to score goals, not the defense with this Ranger team. Yes, Girardi and Stahl have seen better years, but you can't win every game one nothing, especially, especially in the playoffs. You know, management, you're upset that Strowman walked. Okay. Yes, the Rangers let Strowman walk, but they let him walk in favor of signing Dan Boyle. Uh, obviously, that was a mistake, but you can't blame Girardi and Stahl. You know, Girardi, up until this past season, Girardi has been a rock on the blue line. He played last season with a cracked kneecap. Okay. Yes, he was slow and made poor decisions. But let's see how he rebounds this year. So I don't think that the problem necessarily is the defense. One might argue it's the offense. Hope all's well.